All right, apparently, uh, yo, Steph, one of, uh, one of our boar from Toronto is saying that Naj has no defense. Just getting on it. Apparently, Steph does not agree with that statement. You're going to have to make a case better than that. Whoa, I hear mad heck from, from Steph in the background. Not Steph, Phil. Phil is being really quiet after one loss. <laughs> Only if it's charges is over 10 seconds. Ah, I see. I see. Is this 3 out of 5? Yes. Yeah, 3 out of 5. Yeah, Losers finals. Three out of five. All right. All right, we'll try to see if Steph can bounce back here. Nick on a strong tear through loser's bracket. Nick having just lost to uh, Hash Daddy. We've never had Adam on stream for that. Ad. That's a shame, too. Good player to put here. All right, so loser's finals. See, Steph goes back to his more traditional team with the, the King Chang. Yeah, I wonder why he didn't stick with a King during, against Jules. Maybe he has bad experience with finding Jules with King. Florida is definitely a stable base team, though. Next King of Dinosaurs still being really, uh, really convincing with his offense. I think Steph was noting too when he was playing. And Steph is much more knowledgeable than me. I don't know shit, man. <laughs> Definitely looks like he's presenting a lot of options, giving Steph a lot of stuff to think about. Yeah, but Chang is known to be a really gimme key character, so let's see if, what Nick can do. But these two play each other a lot. They should have good knowledge. Oh, what the mm. fuck? I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Of making great use of those aerial buttons. Yeah, it's a really it's a big strength of Chang, and all well, what makes like people really hate that character. Even though he's not that great. Now the King of Dinosaurs got a new corner, double high, Just dropping that elbow. So I was definitely expecting a low there. I feel like he had to guess in that situation. It was just a wrong thing. So earlier, King of Dinosaurs said in the Grapper, uh, Steph said in the Grapper Grapper matchup, King of Dinosaurs is really average. Since his draw range is like ridiculous. So let's see against Clark. It doesn't help like. It doesn't help that uh, uh, King of Dinosaurs was really a whole help, but uh, with two characters a full help, I wonder how that would have went. My King Dinosaur is out, and now it's Nakaru, a character that's also really hard to deal with. Definitely a lot of interesting attack angles because of that bird. Ooh. You don't need those angles when you got those weeds. Oh, Mark, Mark O'Brien talking mad shit about Steph and chat. It's a sad day. <laughs> Just to get out. Fuck it. That's fine. That's fine. Get out of the corner. Against this character, you have to. Ooh. Oh, that's a really... I've never thought about that before. That's a good bait against the armored command grab. Just keep jumping and like... If he, if the armor hits your jumping normal, then you're jumping. So you answer. don't get hit. Then you get the punish. So maybe that armor command grab was not as like good as I originally thought. Measures and countermeasures. Yeah. <laughs> That's not safe home block, Steph. Please. Please. Lands a fireball and just like that switches momentum, looking yeah. to take it on offense. 
Oh, see, now that should have been a good point to use a jumping normal. The read. Spamming in one, that one normal for no reason. Is that a confirm or? <laughs> Looked like one to me. Yeah, Olden, uh, we had 20 entrants today. Uh, this was a free to enter bracket to promote uh, some of the KOF revival that I've seen around uh, the scene. And uh, some some of us, so like me, myself, and other few other players, added to the pot bonus to like encourage people to participate. And I think it was a pretty good success. Yeah. I hope to I hope this interest in the game keeps growing throughout the community. The KOF was not a game that was really. Uh, yeah, KOF was not a game that was really that popular in Ottawa. But since the last patch came out, like I've consistently seen at least like two setups out of our locals. So I'm super glad to see more interest. That's a game I don't play, but I really like. If you can get what I mean. Yeah, Olden, like the bracket is free, so that like kind of gives us not that much of accurate numbers. But if we if this would have been to a pay bracket, I can definitely say at least six or eight people are definitely taking the game seriously. Oh, definitely. You know, it's, it's worthwhile throwing on these, these free events and really just build on that interest. Because like you said, there's that 3-0 patch that just came out. A lot of people are excited for this game. You know, a lot of people picking it back up. So hopefully we can uh, take this momentum and build on it. And you can see a lot more KOF here on the, the DTR streams going forward. Mm -hmm. It would be hard to fit KOF in our current tournament schedule. But just raising, like... I wouldn't say awareness, but like interest in the game. Like, one of my goals with this game is like, eh, it went pretty great. You're right, Speak. It is a super fun to watch game. I love. I, I also watch the movement of this game, but I hate having to do it. Alright, so back to the match now. Nick's still giving Steph some like, really trouble in Mac Ruru. We've never seen like love still on screen. It's not as bad as a blow up then. Nosh. Definitely feels like Steph is more comfortable fighting against this team, even though he's. I mean, every time Steph tries to sticks out a button in neutral, she just slashes her way through him. Oh, we can see Nick trying to bait out the armor command grab with those neutral jumps. Oh, get the low confirms. Is it gonna be enough to kill? No, but one mix up though. There it is. Steph being really frustrated by that one loss. Visibly shaken. We'll see if he can you know, take some time, regain his composure, and really bring it back. Yeah, take a, take a sip there, boy. All right, we're going straight back into it. No character changes. Oh, we're gonna. See, oh, it's gonna feel bad if Steph gets uh, real in this one as well, as we've seen in winners' final. But hey, he made it. He got money. Yeah, a good return on investment for a free tournament. And don't don't count him out just yet. I can see him getting visibly flustered. He was definitely looking so free, so easy going all night for Steph, and then he just hit that wall with that so dodge. Free. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was so free. He was looking pretty relaxed up until yeah. this, up until he ran into that nudge, and now he's looking a little rattled. But like when I said like there's like six or eight people that like really play this game seriously, like by the end of this tournament, we've reached those like six or eight people. And that's where we see a lot of the skill come out. Oh, oh from downtown. Reed, he was throwing so many fireballs, it's like might as well just do it. But King Iron Soul is still out, but he's gonna have to fight Mac with so little help on his you know, on his king. And then oh he went back to Chan this one, huh? Thank you, Hogan. As I said, a lot of people have been really getting really into the game improving. Uh, not me though. Definitely not me. But Steph, uh, Nick. Jewels, definitely jewels. 
Keshev. Keshev has, Keshev has been phrasing this game for like, Keshev is the one true believer. He's been playing this game for like, since it came out, but like no one would play with him. And le until uh, Joe, psychotic thing, came to Ottawa, then they played together. And then Jules moved, and they played a bunch, but since the new update, we've seen like a lot of people move from like, games, anime games like Guilty Gear, and get into the game. Oh, okay, I can, can I, oh wait, that worked? I'm I can kind of see were. what it was doing there. Even Nick seemed confused. I think Steph is trying to like zone Mac out, but uh, Macaru is like zone out a better zoner than you when you're basically a rapper. Although with that said, Steph does have the corner and he's applying some good pressure. Oh, was that a two bang? <laughs> I don't think it was. I think. All right, we'll finally get to see Love on screen. Nick is asking how he got hit by that random super by Chang. See how this scandalous, this scandalous love heart with full meter. If he converts with that hit, it could kill. Ooh, decides not to kill. Oh, rolls out. Oh, the drop key was too far. He's trying to zone him out with that down heavy punch. Oh, the OTG? Get grab out with your roll. Ooh, DP. Yeah, smart decision, man. <laughs> what the fuck? No. At least I wasn't that big of a punish, but I don't know, I'll, I'll always respect YOLO supers. That's in my DNA. But uh, yeah, that was something. Try to whiff punish the sword, but he was just not fast enough, and he gets big damage for that. Oh, you have to use those three bars to do something. Again? Random? Oh, when but he it gets it. it! Level 3! Oh man, that brought them like equal hell. That I wouldn't say that worth that risk was worth it, but now Nick could just oh, I was about to say he could just chip him out with the sword. Doesn't even need to. That down normal is so strong. So strong. Alright. <laughs> Nick being proud of getting the Discord title. The true prize.